In the closing days of the 2024 U.S. presidential election, the New York Times editorial board issued a stark warning against a second term for Donald Trump, underscoring their concerns in a brief yet pointed statement. According to the editorial, Trump's previous tenure displayed a pattern of corruption, disregard for democratic norms, and policies harmful to the country's vulnerable populations. The board argues that Americans already know Donald Trump, framing him as unfit to lead based on well-documented actions during and after his presidency. The editorial implies that a return to office for Trump would intensify political divisions and could lead to a weakened democratic foundation as he would likely prioritize personal power and vendettas over national stability. The Times editorial board asserts that Trump's influence on the judiciary, most notably the overturning of Roe v. Wade, has had lasting consequences on American society. Beyond that, they predict that another Trump term would see him pursuing policies aimed at deporting immigrants en masse and reshaping the federal government to target opponents, threatening a more authoritarian approach to governance. Additionally, the board warns that Trump's environmental and foreign policies would exacerbate climate change, strain U.S. alliances, and empower authoritarian leaders globally. Meanwhile, major media outlets such as the Boston Globe, The Atlantic, and The New Yorker have endorsed Kamala Harris as the preferable choice, citing her commitment to uniting the country and promoting responsible governance. Harris is positioned by these endorsements as a leader more attuned to America's democratic principles. However, not all major outlets agree. The New York Post, for instance, has endorsed Trump, reflecting the polarized media landscape. This election thus reflects a wider divide within both the media and the American electorate, underscoring the high stakes for the country's future direction. With polling showing a close race in key swing states, these endorsements and criticisms may shape voters' decisions in the crucial final days.